One of the most hyped blockchains and also token is Hyperliquid, aka Hype, which is the token. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a, a guide on what Hyperliquid is. We're gonna take a look at the token. We're gonna take a look at the ecosystem and how to get started. There will be other parts where we go in depth on airdrop guides and everything around that. But this one here is a video on how to get started with Hyperliquid. Now, this is the official page, hyperfoundation.org. As always, all the links are down in the description so you can follow along with everything that I'm doing. Before we get started and set everything up, we're gonna take a quick look on what Hyperliquid is, how all of that works, and then we're gonna go through everything step by step. So. Hyperliquid, the blockchain to house all finance is what they're saying. Crypto is fragmented today, but it doesn't need to be. For the first time, build projects, create value and exchange assets on the same hyper performant chain. And this is the first thing that's different about Hyperliquid from Ethereum, Solana and all of those other chains, because they basically build the decentralized exchange into the blockchain. We're going to take a look at this in a second. This makes it way faster and easier to trade directly on Hyperliquid. You don't need to have any other exchanges such as Jupiter for Solana or Uniswap in the EVM Cosmos. So there's everything built in already, but also of course a lot of dApps. Now let's take a look at this. The flagship application, the premier decentralized exchange, and this is the main thing, what I've just been saying, Hyperliquid has a DEX integrated. They have low fees, zero gas and low fees on all orders. We're gonna take a look at the fees later once we set everything up. Transparent, fully on-chain order book, trades, funding and liquidations all happen on the Hyperliquid L1. This means that everything is provable, traceable, transparent on-chain. Seamless one-click trading, no wallet approvals to interrupt your flow. Up to 40 times leverage, trade with conviction to maximize capital efficiency. So they really focus on being the best decentralized exchange without any friction and all of that built directly into the chain. Now let's take a look how all of that works and I find this graphic here very good. Bear with me, after we took a look at this, we're gonna get started and set everything up together step by step. So the Hyperliquid stack. Perps and spot order books are two flagship applications built on Hypercore, but they are just the tip of the iceberg. So we can see this already here. We have Hypercore, Hyper EVM and Hyper BFT. So basically you could say the Hypercore is the core of what they building with the spot perps, the vaults, the governance, the oracles, everything is here in the hyper core, but user build applications on the hyper EVM, which as the name says, it's EVM compatible. So it's super easy to use with your usual wallet. In my case, it's the Rebi wallet because I like the UI, the UX, but it can be MetaMask, Phantom, whatever you're using for Ethereum and all the L2s or EVM compatible chains that are out there. So user built applications on the Hyper EVM interact seamlessly with Hyper Core to let anyone use apps, launch tokens and trade all in one place. So it is connected. Then we have the Hyper EVM. High performance applications are built natively. These financial primitives on Hyper Core are accessible to user built applications on the general purpose Hyper EVM which supports familiar Ethereum tooling, the Hyper EVM and Hypercore exist as one unified state unlocking applications that simultaneously require performance, liquidity and programmability. So this is basically what I just said. You can see the native stable coins, bridges, any kind of application you can build on the Hyper EVM and it shares the same state with the Hypercore. And below that, we have the Hyper BFT. The foundation of the Hyperliquid blockchain is Hyper BFT consensus, which lets a disparate set of nodes agree on the state of the world. The state comprises all applications, both those built on Hypercore and the Hyper EVM. So they all share the same state. And this is what makes this so fast. Now you can see this all in action. 
The block time is 0.07 seconds only. There's 756,000 users already. This is not daily active users. This is uh, users in general. Max TPS is 200,000 and the daily volume is 19 billion, which is a lot if we compare this to other chains. That should be it for the theory. Let's dive in and get started with Hyperliquid. Now, if we click on launch app, we need to click continue on the disclaimer and then we end up here. Let me log out real quick. Now, this is how it looks like. We are on the hyper core. As you can see, we're getting directed to the decentralized exchange. If you click on trade, I got the link for this down there as well. Feel free to use my referral link that helps me and also gives you a bit of the fees actually. And it also helps me as a thank you for running this channel. Let's connect. As I said, you can use any EBM wallet that you want. They can also set up a wallet for you. But the easiest way is to connect your EBM wallet. Let's click on Rebby wallet because this is the one that I'm using. Now let's click connect and boom, here we are. As you can see in this wallet, I already have some JPEG in here, which was an airdrop because I owned an NFT that got some of the airdrop on the a hyper core, but as you can see, I don't have any hype on here. Let's talk about the overview. Right now we are here in trade and you can see that this is spot. We have both spot and perps. If we click here, we can see all coins. We can see the perps, we can see spot. You can see also how high you can leverage. You can see trending, DEX only and lots of categories. For example, if you're a meme trader, this might be the category for you. Now let's click on spot hype USDC because you need to have some funds on there. How do you do this? And the easiest way to do this, once you're connected, you go to deposit on the right. Then establish a connection. This signature is gas free to send. It opens a decentralized channel for gas free and instantaneous trading. Stay connected and establish connection. Now we need to confirm this in the wallet. And then there are several ways to deposit to Hyperliquid. Now let's go through them. The default one is Arbitrum with USDC. You can also import USDT or USDCE, but USDC is the easiest way to do this. So if you have USDC, switch to Arbitrum to deposit. Now I did this. As you can see, I don't have any USDC on Arbitrum, but this is the default way. But there's also other ways. Then you can deposit from Bitcoin. They arrive after 21 minutes. You need to deposit it to this address here. They generate one for you. But to be honest, this would definitely not be my preferred way. It takes a lot of time and also sending Bitcoin always. Um, yeah, I don't feel comfortable sending too much Bitcoin around. Now, Ethereum, you can also deposit from the mainnet. This is the way deposits should arrive after three minutes. And it's important to always read this red part here. There is a minimum deposit of 0.05 ETH. This address can only receive ETH on the Ethereum network. So this can only be used on the mainnet. ETH sent from L2's Arbitrum base optimism will be lost. Any other asset USDC USDT sent from Ethereum will be lost. Deposits below 0.05 ETH will result in a loss of funds. So be super careful, okay? If you do this with Arbitrum, it's the easiest way because then you can just click on deposit and then you can sign the transaction in your wallet. So this is definitely the safest way. You can also do this via Solana. There is a minimum deposit of 0.2 SOL. This address can only receive SOL on the Solana network. Any other asset, e.g. USDC, USDT sent from Solana will be lost. Deposits from below 0.2 SOL will result in a loss of funds. So make sure that you are aware of this. For SOL, you can also put in Fartcoin or a pump. So those three, you can deposit those and you can go through the others if there's other ways. No, for Ethereum not. And other chains are coming soon. 
So those are the different ways that you can actually deposit. Once you deposit it, it will show up in the perps. So make sure to transfer to spot. For example, if you have it uh, in perms, but want to do something in spot, then you can click this button here, perp spot, and then you can go back and forth and transfer the USDC. Now you can also withdraw, of course, the same way you deposited. So make sure you're doing this in the correct chain with the correct wallet. Apart from that, this should all look familiar to you. We have market orders by sell. You can set a percentage. Now we're in the hype USDC section. You can either go with USDC or hype. You can sell it. You got limit orders. You got scale. You got some pro features that you can also do. As I said, you can switch to perps and also go to hype UST. You can leverage up to 10. You can choose the size, the price, the Reduce only, you can set TP and SL if you want to. Basically all the features that you know from the central exchanges and for a lot of the decentralized exchanges. So this is the trading part of the Hypercore. Then we have the vaults and there's protocol vaults and user vaults. If you're getting started, I would not suggest going into any of those user vaults. But it is interesting to see what they are doing because this is all on chain. You can see what others are doing. You can follow their strategies. You can sort by APR and check out what they did, how the portfolio looks. But the interesting parts are the protocol vaults, for example, the hyper liquidity provider HLP. Let's click on it. The past month return has been 8%. This was up to 100% in the beginning. It fluctuates, but you can deposit USDC. Just be aware there is a lockup period of four days and you also need to accept the risks that are named here. The HLP vault uses active trading strategies that carry risk. Returns are not guaranteed and you may lose some or all of your deposit. There is no compensation in case of loss. By continuing, you're confirmed that you understand and accept these risks. So if you provide liquidity here, then you're definitely helping Hyperliquid because as you can see, you're providing liquidity and then the TVL is at 361 million locked right now. There's also the liquidator, but this is deprecated. So we're not going to go into detail here. The interesting one is definitely the HLP. But as always, none of this is financial advice. You can also create your own vaults, but this is a bit advanced, so we're not going to go into this. Then on a portfolio, you can see your positions. As you can see, I don't have any in this account here. 40 day volume is zero because I did not do any volume. And you can see the fees here for the perps is 0.045 for the takers, 0.015 for the makers and for spot it's 0.07 and for the makers 0.04 and those are super low. If you compare this to other DEXs or to centralized exchanges, then this is really, really low. Also from your portfolio, you can do the perp spot transfer. You can do the EVM and core transfer. For example, if you have hype on the EVM like I do, let's click on hype. As you can see, I got some assets on the EVM, for example, some hype. So I could go in here and say, I want three hype on a spot. So I can then swap them to USDC and put them in the HLP vault, for example. You can also send and withdraw and also deposit. This is how all of that works. Let's talk about the staking part. Hyperliquid L1 is a proof of stake blockchain where stakers delegate the native token hype to validators to earn staking rewards. Stakers only receive rewards when the validator successfully participates in consensus. So stakers should only delegate to reputable and trusted validators. You can see this here. You can sort this by stake, by uptime, by estimated APR, the status, the commission that they take, and then you can delegate here and stake your tokens through this button. You need to have the hype tokens here in the balance section. So from spot 
to staking balance or the other way around. This is also super simple to do. Then we have the referrals tab where you can create a code and or enter a code. This gives you a percentage off. Now let's go through the leaderboard. This is interesting because you can see the best PNL in 30 days and the ROI as well. So you can take a look at those people, what they have been doing. Also interesting maybe to look for whales that you know. Maybe also look for people that have a similar account value as you and see how they achieved some PNL. So since this is all on chain, it's nice to view. Now, there's a lot of other things you can play around with the testnet. There's, of course, the Explorer that you can see directly here. You can also click on view all transactions and you can see there's a lot of things going on. You can also check out the announcements here. And that's basically the rundown of the Hyperliquid page. Let's take a look before we close out this one here. Let's take a look at the token. Let's check it out. It's number 13 by market cap. The token, if we go to max, this is up only basically since it started. We've seen this short uh, dump here, but overall it launched back in November. And since then it really took off. Price was $6. So if you held on to your airdrop because 31% were airdropped to the community, there's rumors about a second airdrop as well. We can see this here, the market cap 14 billion fully diluted 43. You can see the circulating supply, the total supply and the max supply. You can see because this token is deflationary, this already burns every time that a trade is made. I think it's 96% of the fees are being burned. So that should be it for this video. In the next one, we're gonna dive deep into the ecosystem of Hyperliquid. We're gonna take a look at different protocols, what strategies you might have to actually qualify for the next round of the airdrop or for the airdrops from the major protocols and platforms that we have on Hyperliquid. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode on Hyperliquid. If this helped, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, send this video to your friends because then they will also get onboarded to Hyperliquid. Make sure to check out my other blockchain tutorials. And that all being said, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.